There's two holes drilled and corresponding spots on here for smaller holes that are gonna get tapped. Okay, now before I put this silly thingy on, I did take this off and look inside, and this had a pretty thick piece of aluminum here. And I'm gonna try not to go through, because if I go through, I'm gonna hit the gear that's inside and screw up the whole thing. I think that's deep enough. Hmm, getting them back out's the most tedious part. I also like to save all my aluminum bits for future smelting projects. Excellent. Hmm, this is. And that's the way to do through the camera viewfinder. Let me turn it off. Hmm. Well, that's on there pretty good. I might not even need another piece over here, although I'll probably do one later just for extra safety. And I think now I have to just remove this and then grease up all these ball bearings in here. I used like transfer rollers and that's like the inside part of the ball bearing. And none of them have been greased since I originally put them there, you know, a couple of years ago. Because I didn't want to get grease on the aluminum so it's easier to weld. So I'm gonna take that off, grease up all those ball bearings somehow, and then see if it's easier to, to swivel. Oh, and I can't stupidly forget that there's one missing here, one of these bolts. There's one missing back there somewhere. I have to remember to put those in. Okay, that's out of the way so I can swivel this, but how to get grease inside these things. I knew when I was putting it together, this would be a bit of a tricky issue. <sighs> Maybe I can squirt it in through there and get it in the crack. I'd like to get it in behind them because there's a little hole in the back of these that you could supposedly get grease into. But, you know, they're right up flat against a piece of aluminum, so I can't get back there. Grr. I'll just have to squirt it in the side and roll it around. Hopefully it'll all get in there. Somewhere in this building, there is at least one syringe. That would be perfect, I think. Ah, uh, yes, of course none of my little shelf spots are labeled like the syringe shelf spot. Mm, let me just check some. Oh, oh my gosh! Yes! We didn't expect to find that that easy. Okay then, let's see, all purpose, multi-purpose lithium grease. I'm gonna presume that on this messy back here, it includes giant robots. Excellent. So let me stuff this with some. This is gonna be messy. Oh, this stuff is so gross. Oh, yuck. Let's get in there and not, oh. I get this knot everywhere. Ooh. All right, that was a very bad attempt at that. Let me see if I can do that better in a second. I got that smushed down to the bottom, and let's try this again. There, I want it long along the thing so it'll fit in, yay! Spectacular! Let's just leave that stick in there. We've got the injection ready, senor. And we're looking for a uh, senor robot. Senor robot, we've got your injection ready. Ah, here we go. Oh, yeah, like this is gonna go smoothly. Get in there. I hope some gets in there. Nice. Now I have to get it up on three legs so that the top part can swivel. Because with all six legs down, you know, the legs would have to be able to move when the top part swivels. Oh, and to do that, I want to get it up on 
like the first three legs, but this leg is under the apartment because the apartment got built right over it and that won't be able to lift up because it's just going to hit there. So I have to disconnect that stupid thing so that I can lift that leg and then, you know, have it take half a step this way so it's not under the apartment anymore. And then we'll be clear of that. And then I'll have to put it back on. Wait a minute. Okay, I just got the weight off those three legs and then I realized if I swivel the top, those three legs will move and I'll be able to just like kind of swivel it to get this leg to come out from under the apartment without having to disconnect it. So uh, I guess I'll try that. That's the point of this was swiveling it anyway, so. Okay, let's try on the other feet, maybe. I don't know. Oops. Oh, wow, the thing is stiff. Come on, Mr. Robot, I'm trying to loosen you up. You gotta cooperate a bit. Maybe if I put it back on six legs, and then just... I can swivel the thing a little bit back and forth. Maybe that'll get some of the grease in there. Of course, with six legs in the ground, there's no weight on the central ball bearing. And I'm running out of sunlight. I hope I didn't warp the top piece when I was just doing that welding. I now remember that that used to happen when I was welding on the top piece. Hmm. Okay, three legs are up, and this is the position it was in a few days ago when I was swiveling the top, when it wasn't greased at all. So hopefully it still moves and I can get it around and get the grease in there. Come on. Oh, thank you. You're not stuck. It is stiffer than the other day though. I think I bent it. Ah, that's so annoying. Ah, uh, maybe it's not stiff. It's getting a little easier. I need more grease in there, maybe. It does kind of sound like something's grinding, though. Something might be rubbing. Yeah, I'll try out some motor oil, too. Well, I'm almost out of light for today. And this giant ball bearing in the top, 
that makes the top swivel was like the first piece I made. It's probably the, probably the sloppiest piece on the whole thing. So I might have to take it apart and do some refurbishing, I guess. And that kind of involves taking the entire thing apart because it was like the first piece in there. So yeah, that's going to be a bit of a project. I have plenty of time to get it worked out though, so I'm going to go sleep on it. On second thought, if I go and sleep on it, that might be incredibly uncomfortable with all those little pointy bits. So I'll sleep in my bed and think about it.